so well produced and so well done that I think Nelson Mandela would have been very pleased today at how he was bid farewell. Well, you were both there, I, I take it, as guests of the family and uh, uh, a very, really, an exclusive gr uh, group there. Uh, Forrest, uh, what, what did it mean to you? Uh, it was paying tribute to someone who has shaped the world, who shaped this, this country. I mean, I was, I was moved. We were enveloped by, by the energy of all these people who were trying to express their, their, their mourning, but also their love and admiration for this man. And, and uh, it was extremely moving uh, to, to, to be able to sit there and to, to be a part of, of the celebration of his life. You know, Bob, they kept saying over and over about Nelson Mandela's love of children. They kept saying, we will miss your love, we will miss your smile, we will miss your leadership. You were the right person at the right time for this job. And uh, tell, tell Bob for some part about the ocean, because I love that yeah. sentiment. It, 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 during, this, during the ceremony, uh, Bishop Siwa, he, 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 he told a story about, about a boat moving on the horizon, and then it would go to the other side. And the person that was with him said, but it's gone. And he said, he said no, no. It's on the other side. You can see it coming. They can see it on the other side coming. That just because he isn't there doesn't mean, just because you can't see him doesn't mean he isn't there. And uh, listen, but from the moment we sat down, they said, listen, we're on a time schedule. We're going to keep to the time because Madiba has to be in the ground by noon, according to tradition, where the sun is the highest and the shadows are the shortest. But as you might expect, it ran long. And they said, listen, you know, two and a half hours is not enough time to pay tribute to Nelson Mandela. So they were asking for special dispensation. And then we all moved over to the burial site, which was another, which was, I, I can't even begin to describe that to you in terms of the tribute that was paid to him to see Winnie Mandela and Rosa Michelle, arm in arm, sitting there paying tribute to a man that they loved, I have to say, was a very moving thing. What yeah. stood out for you in the burial? Yeah. I think, well, when they were bringing in, the procession was bringing, bringing him to the burial site. Um, and. They, they remove the casket, they start to play the anthem, and then they did the 21 gun salute. And then the jet started to fly above. And I, I thought I would be frightened by it, but it actually was just, just stirred up a lot of emotions about how, how do you express you know, gratitude to a man of this magnitude? How, how do you express it in words? And, and I think the feeling was, was overwhelming. I, I, I agree with that, Bob. You have to, you, you know, to anyone who has lost someone that they love, there is something about seeing the casket go into the ground that uh, it, it, it hits you, even though you know that moment is coming. It was a very painful thing to see, very painful. But at the same time, people said, let's celebrate him, that he came and he did his job and he did it well. And while uh, they said the long walk may be over, but the journey continues. And I think people left there, believe it or not, feeling very uplifted and very inspired today. Uh, first, Whitaker, uh, let me ask you this. When did you first know about Nelson Mandela, and what kind of an impact did he have on your life? I, mean, I, I knew about the struggle when they were struggling to, to free uh, South Africa and apartheid. I, I, uh, I, the effect that he's had on my life is, is he's taught me so much. I mean, I, I, personally, I like to do a lot of work in, in, in peace field. And so watching him as a model and as, as, as someone to, 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 to study and understand has been very important to me. I think uh, I, I, I've, I've used his philosophy of forgiveness, of, you know, his philosophy of understanding through forgiveness love in, in all the workings you know, that I do. And I think that he's influenced aspects of my life to try to incorporate that holistically in every moment of my life that I can. What about you, Gail? Bob, can I tell you, uh, at the service today, they said that everybody uh, has a Madiba moment. Everybody. Anybody who came in contact with him had a Madiba moment. And, and I have to say, the first time I met him, uh, it was in working with Oprah at, at oh, the Oprah magazine, and we were allowed to come to his house and sit and talk with him. And um, it's the interest that he took when he met you. You know, I, I can't stress enough how much he loved children. He wanted to know... Was I married? No, I'm not. Oh, I, oh, you're not. Oh, that's not good. Do you have children? Yes, I have children. What are their names? What are their ages? What are they doing? And he became very engaged talking to me about my children. And I will never, ever forget that moment. And again, uh, what I said, what I've been saying to everybody recently about his, his belief in the power of forgiveness, how important that is. And that was very evident today.
Well, well, I, I want to jump onto your Medieval moment. Can he just sure, tell you his absolutely. Medieval moment? Absolutely. Well, I mean, I, I, was, Sorry, most, I was really impressed with, I brought my, my children when we, when we first met, and he spent so much time, like, talking to them, asking them questions. I remember my daughter, she was, like, probably, like, nine years old. She was shaking, and she walked up to him, and he was like, what do you want to do? Yeah. What, are you, what are you dreaming of? What do you feel? You know, it was, and it was, it was the most beautiful thing, because uh, he, he, he loved it. Love yeah, children. He did. And he expressed it in that moment so simply, just by trying to draw out for my daughter just uh, some words, because she couldn't find the words to express how important it was. Well, I know this was a very important day for both of you, and as we said in the beginning, I'm sure it's one that you will never forget, nor will the world forget for a long, long time.